as Christians wait for Jesus. The Egyptians called them Nataru and said they came on heavenly boats and set up priesthoods whose priests were called Chdi, sound familiar? The Sumerians claimed their ancestors were reptilian Anunnaki who genetically modified them to be slaves. It is of value to keep in mind the Sumerians say they were hybridized and made as slaves while other legends simply say they intermingled with their population. In Ethiopia stories and ancient statues can be found of the serpents known as Naga. These Naga also went into Persia and China. Nagasaki was named after the serpents who migrated there. In Japan the dragon Yasha is the protector of Buddhism. The Celts make mention of the Druid Adders or great serpents that came to instruct them in mystical arts. 6 Page The Hebrews speak of the serpent Nakash who was ever giving them trouble and misguiding their people. The Arabs produced thousands of codex warning of the serpent Shaitan and his cunning ways of making man and woman fall short. It is safe to say that we can identify at least one non-humanoid being that in fact interfaces with our life cycle and this is only one but there are many more. Thus we should be able to establish that we are not alone. Reason 2 The Maya clearly show they had already pledged allegiance to a group of masculine serpents. The serpent races are just as vast as our own. Many of the serpents are on a collective mind thus they are generally out to accomplish their own agenda and stop at nothing to see it through. Humans are looked at as a resource to most of them, they are a supremacist warrior class. Also some have mated with the human race and tried to protect their hybrids as extended family. Many of the ancient reptilians despise this union and thus a war has ensued amongst the elders and the siblings. Reason 3 In the Egyptian glyphs it clearly shows much larger humanoids inhabited the land. They are the Nephilim bent on world domination and enslaving what they called inferior humans. They exist now in spirit form. This is beyond Alexander the Great and Constantine in fact this is where they drew their power and destiny from. They were just the human catalyst, hybrids themselves although their legends are so shrouded in myth it does them little credit to the truth of their origin. Alexander was known as Great Two Horn, and by the Arabs Dil Karnayn who built the wall. 7 Page The correct knowledge actually makes your spirit larger. Knowledge is the food for the spirit. When this happens just like a fish that has gotten too big for its tank, you must move on. This is no different than having a small bike as a child that takes you everywhere you need to go, as a child your range is a lot smaller. When you get older you may need a car, plane, or even a ship depending on where you are intending to travel. The body itself when developed is the vehicle to traverse the cosmos and it must now be prepared to do such a thing. This is a vastly populated territory we speak of and it contains the experiences you will need to continue growth. We will discover that all the things we have gone through in life have served to get us to that point, it is only of value to realize that since nothing is absolutely still you must continue to move. This is the nature of our entire universe nothing dies even if you blow it up it will still become an infinite amount of pieces of whatever it was before. It is a wondrous age we have entered as we watch the mist of the illusion dissipate, the hot spiral of reality permeates the globe. We are awakening as children of giants from a long slumber realizing that we have been living a long dream. As a planet we have seen many ages that are part of a larger cycle of growth, this is the process of turning dirt into gold. One thing that we can be sure of since man and woman have triumphed through the Stone Age to now meet the end of the Space Age we most certainly intend to continue on to what is next. Reason 4 from the Stone Age to the Space Age was made to look so easy a caveman could do it. Have you asked yourself where our world is headed next? What do you think organizations like NASA, Lucent, and Sony are really doing with now trillions of dollars? Like a game of chess you anticipate the player's next move, so we see that it is the age of ether we are arriving into or more simply put, spirit. Now we can begin to do the things that only made up the fiction portion of our previous ideas and imagination. The weight of the body, which is now the cube, will be shed and we will be open once more to higher senses. We would do well to develop and train these senses now. As we speed up and things take place it will not be time to practice. 
there is no doubt that we will experience a new eon we are all adepts of motion, acolytes of the flux, we populate the galaxy and thus we have solidified our wave through the harmonic cosmos. We are vessels of known and unknown energies until being ourselves converters for multiple life forms to assimilate and grow not only on earth but also in space as above so below. 8 page. This energy field cannot be seen with the untrained eye but exists all around you as a standing column wave. With the science of sound which is vibration we can venture to know that if a large wave is made by anything in the same pool, it will only make the smallest wave speed up and increase in size, thus the smaller supported by the great and coaxed to become bigger. Since these greater forces are now sending out stronger waves than ever our choice is when we face that big wave, can we ride it? or will we wipe out and hope to catch another? We can be sure that we cannot be destroyed because the soul within us, a gift by the Most High, is immortal and without end, but ye can be made to forget which is called the second death. Figure 5 An actual NASA photo of what appears to be a very conscious form in the galactic looking back at us. Phillips Astronomy Atlas page 194 Other sentient life forms are found on, Earth all the time but we have now been trained to reject clear proof separating us more from the reality of the existence of other creations, many of whom are very intelligent. When a person really assimilates there are other sentient things in existence it opens them up to better understanding the most high through diversity. This also allows us to make a sober estimate of ourselves and where we personally stand in the levels of matter. When one remains insolent to a fact of such magnitude, there are sure to be repercussions. Those repercussions cause a supremacist nature. Never considering what we think is the top is actually the bottom for another being. We would assume we are on an elated level which really does even more damage than good since the subconscious mind factors in that we are poisoning the same air we breathe, so as the most intelligent we are really the most ignorant. Anything built on that kind of foundation will go through successions of destruction and chaos. Now we have Earth's full historical description. When this changes, which it will very soon, everything will be different, fast. 9 page. My first experience with the others was when I unknowingly started a purification procedure and became enlightened. I had no doubt heard of accelerated thinking and higher abilities, however, my intention at the time was to just seek answers from a higher source not to mention trusting if whether a higher source could actually be contacted. I knew something higher existed, that became obvious by seriously taking into account man did not create man, it's at least mathematically not possible. I had done this by chanting until my body had changed its complete vibrational frequency which took about two hours and some extreme desire. The desire I called HSM heart, soul and mind something I found in the Torah that was worth extracting. It was said to be the real formula of contacting the Most High, a focal point to interface with if one came to such a moment that contact would need to be made. Once I started to activate all the metal in the room was shaking I had to remove my watch, belt, and anything that contained metal. I had no idea this was going to be the outcome. The energy was far more than I anticipated thus I was extremely unprepared and confused but strong nonetheless, I had become the portal for higher selves. As the camera continued to run on my PS3 catching these moments I knew we had something special, finally I had vividly captured my proof of the paranormal. I can only explain it as I went up and came back down very fast and I could feel the essence of where I had gone inside of me, especially in my hands. My friend who is now my witness was even less prepared, he had also experienced the phenomena by simply touching me once I reached high vibration, this he did by accident or fear of the metal situation. This prompted him to grab me and ask me what was happening, like I knew. That caused it to spread to him instantly and later he said he went down deep into somewhere, saw himself, grabbed himself, and started making an ascension back out with things hot on his trail. He was, what I later figured out, in some lower dimension being ruled by some dominion. This was defiantly a result of his current character although he was given a chance nonetheless. 10 PAGE
Reason 6 What the many ancient tribes have been explaining to Westerners since time memorial is that we are actually located on a lower plane.